Are they going to get the wolf? Money. That's the pause right there coming into play. You forgot you had your wolf up there. Ugh. Big loss. <laughs> or win, depending on which side you're on. And they get early Absorber Ward aggressively. Watching out, watching out for lanes, and at the moment, it is Liquid. They're they're poisoning themselves as, at first as like this aggro try and they'll they'll switch. But I feel like I see them do this a lot. Even in like the games I saw them doing when they were first forming, they always just like like scouting lanes, maybe get like a lucky first blood, something like that. Boy, I gotta tell you, I love seeing an Abaddon with an early point in Curse of Avernus cast a lot of ice, ice, ice Abaddon. He's just <laughs> like constantly dying, getting the heal to deny himself. You know, not even bothering to skill the passive. That is not how you want to be playing a bad end. It feels real bad. And yeah, we've seen. I mean, this this ability has gotten so crazy. People just, I mean, people just love this hero too. I'm I'm just so surprised to see how much it's like, really popped out. Like after TI, it was already popular, and then just every game we see, like almost every game, a bad end legions, all these healers, sustains, the tanky yeah. saving offlaners are in vogue now. So they're actually going to leave this void alone for the time being. Okay, so they're going to look to just punish, maybe get a first blood and then ditch afterwards. Okay. Yeah, it's not like Void's in any danger of dying. He has already skilled the time walk to be safe. Yeah, they immediately start poking moves. They have a lot of damage coming in between them. Good blinding light. Might just maybe mean just Fear is the dead man instead. Orb comes through. Good closing maneuver and Fear, no TP. Nowhere to go but back to the fountain. Ooh, and he's going to be out of this for quite some time now. And Taiga takes it. So we were talking about how you know Taiga seems to be playing like kind of the cord based on the items that he started with. I mean, maybe they maybe they give him these early boots and then start giving Puck items. Could be a decent approach. This is going to make the lane hard too because now Keeper has to do the walk of shame back. Yeah, he's, his TP is on CD for 25 seconds. So Moose should get pressured quite a lot here. The other two lanes. I think mid, Razor overall should win this matchup. You got this movement speed advantage over Viper. You get the link off every time. Sure, you get some harassment back, but yeah, Razor tends to win this one. Pretty handily. And you, you don't pick the Viper not to win your lane, right? So Yeah, it has to just be an overall game plan bad. thing for them. I mean, you mentioned uh, potential Atos builder. Probably won it versus the Void. So yeah. we'll see how that develops. Early days here, but... You see Moose trying to keep the pressure up on Insania on the Ancient Apparition. McKay farming decently well, despite the early Abaddon pressure. That's the 6 CS, so not a disaster start for J Storm. Nope, definitely not. Just that one death. Just has to be certain. I think like I think Parker was the one who was saying like he wants to see a lot of pressure out of this bottom lane. I agree. I want to see uh, Moose as well as Brax really, really put the pressure onto the Void, onto Mickey. Not let him get like any of this farm, and they're, right now they're doing a good job. Oh, but yeah, right. they, I think they have to. They have to have a good time, at least in bottom lane. And I mean, like if, if the thing is that mid's gonna be such a disaster. Like Quake is just gonna crush nine, so they need to have these other the side lanes go well. This top lane, the wolves are starting to become a problem. Taiga taking a lot of harass has to commit his salve. They're doing some pulling with fear, and. Uh, See if they can stay in the lane, but <laughs> definitely getting easier for Moo as he levels up. Up to 12 CS. Yep. Do you see Foxy trying to contest that pull? This is like the full the full J Storm limit where it's just like, let's just try to get stuff out of here. We're not trying to kill anything, but we're just trying to farm here, pull a lot, get our levels, make sure we don't die, but we're never gonna get set up a kill. If we do set up a kill, someone made a mistake. Man, Quake for nine denies fog. You said it was gonna be a rough lane. This is yeah. pretty brutal. It's just you always you always have the movement speed advantage. You have the base damage advantage. You have like every advantage in this type of matchup. Sure, you're getting poked, which is a little annoying sometimes. You might drop a little low, but in last hits, you should be very solid on the razor with that animation. Invis rune top. Nobody really interested in grabbing that. Wolves oh. are gonna come scout it out and see moves fairly low here. Brax actually wanting to go in on him. Oh, nice shield. Gets him back to safety. Mickey gets involved as well. So blows being traded. Still no kills in the slain, and they're just trying to mess with each other's creep pulls. Moose will get it off this time. Sandy is going to try to contest it. Get himself some last hits, maybe. Who's going to get the set? Nobody. The Do they get the bash? Oh, Moose is super low. He's in danger. No time walk for quite a while, though. Able to walk away. Four minutes, and what do you know? There's a regen rune. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> the dream. He's like, oh, but I just bought a salve. Oh, well. They did have a ward here, so he knew. Yeah. 
the absolute dream. And so yeah, J Storm is they are doing well in the other two lanes. Lycan, like you said, he was getting his levels. He's got that farm sustained coming up, the Baden as well, but yeah, Viper falling quite far behind. Oh, quite taking some tower hits. So for J Storm, like you know, decent lanes as you mentioned, oh, they're, oh they're gonna lose the ancient apparition bottom. Uh, is there like an, a particular objective you want to see them go for aside from just the general like let's win the lanes it's like certain towers they need to take or items they need to pick up? I think there's a lot of neat moves that you can do with the Lycan. I think as soon as you get your Dominator, the world's pretty much your oyster. I think you can either, your best bet is probably going bottom and trying to get that, but it's a void, so maybe you don't try to dive. But he's got low level time walk, so maybe you can. You just dive past it afterwards with your book, uh, with your uh, Dominator build when you have your ulti. So I think the level six in particular on J-Storm Get that on Moo, and he can either go mid or you hit bottom with your ult, the first ult usage. Okay, try to dive the tower and get a kill? Yeah, dive tower, get a kill, force reaction. You may be able to even get a tower, like you know, a good amount of tower pressure out of it. Still going to be some time, though, as his Dominator is a little bit delayed. Taiga has made his rotation onto the mid lane. There's no vision, and he comes marching in. Nine, no boots. Just the wind lace, and it's not enough to get him back to safety. But an amazing blinding light by the old man. Maybe at least saves nine. It might cost Moose his life, though, with all this damage. No. Koikva, too low to chase. Doesn't have the move speed either. Oh, so he ends up getting out. Sick blinding light there by the old man Coddle and old man Fear. That was good. Okay. Yeah, how, how appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, he made, a, he made a Twitter post after TI, I think, about you know how he wanted to prove everyone wrong that like old, old men can't play. Yeah. I mean, might as well, right? Look, March. And he's showing off the skills there. Dude, March too, right? March comes in. He's just like, yeah, old man can't play. Goes to TNC, wins a tournament. Yeah. And uh, they looked really solid today. Mm -hmm. well. so. See if the old men have anything left in the tank. I sure hope so, because uh, otherwise I won't be here much longer. Yep, I turned 30 in like three weeks. Uh, I feel Congratulations. I don't, yep. It's only uphill from here, apparently. Sure. I'll take it. <laughs> Brax. There is no chrono yet. Or the bashes. Time walk. Zero bashes. Terrible point. Come player. on, Mickey. No, no bash again. It's prime now. Don't waste it. Oh. No, he wasted it. How's <laughs> their stacks coming out there? It looks like Fear is starting to get those set up. Taiga will start to move in to be able to scout that out. Like, can they contest them? They do have a decent amount of AoE with the Razor. Oh, Taiga. Ooh, backing away. They tried to push him. Doesn't quite get him the right way they wanted. He could have mangoed and stunned downward anyway. Yeah, they're real committed to these stacks right now. Level 2 Nether Toxin. Good XP for the team. They're giving the lane mid to Moose and the tier 1 mid. Very healthy. Ooh, is he going to kill the go Oh, he's actually killing the Mud Golems inside the Nether Toxin. Usually we see a lot of players, you pull the Mud Golems out because it breaks it. So you see there, they so don't you split. You don't get the main Yeah, you golems, don't get the yeah. extra. It's it's sometimes a little tough to do. I think Nine is just trying to maximize right now. So he's not doing that, but it, you know, well, you lose a little they're bit. They're moving in. Just shrined for this. Fear's going to be the one in front. He gets caught by Burrow Strike. Koikva quickly cleaning him up. No fancy moves for him this time. I like this, these movements by Taiga. I think they're like super nice because he doesn't need to help top anymore, right? What's the point? The Puck's already free farming. He's versus a Lycan. It's not like Lycan's going to contest him much. So Taiga now has free reign to move around, scout, get information. Oh, they've got Chrono. Going to try to make a jump onto Brax in the bottom lane, catch out the Abaddon. The chilling oh. touch damage combined with the Cold Feet is enough. They get the kill. Meanwhile, Taiga also on the run, but he burrow strikes down to the low ground. So he'll make it out safely. They get the Abaddon right before the borrowed time. Very nice there, so far for Liquid. How do you feel about this uh, Diffusal Blade rush on Voids? We've been seeing it more this tournament, less Maelstrom, hmm. first item. I know uh, Nico Baby really likes this build a lot. He's gone for like two or three Void games in a row. Okay. I mean, I can see the merits. It's one of the better agi items in the game, if not like the best one for the cost of its components and everything. It allows you to get like kills when you don't have Chronosphere, you just like time delayed Diffusal. I, I think Diffusal is a good, like just an overall amazing item. Okay. We saw like a, you know, these unlikely things like a TI Grand Finals. You see a Gyrocopter build Diffusal and stuff like that too. It's just super good item versus especially these like strength off laners too, who have like low mana pools, couple hits, a bad end's not gonna do much. That was like the super old school Void build was the uh, the Manta Diffusal when they used to split. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Taiga getting caught out. And in trouble, but the puck is coming in. Hides inside the sandstorm. They're gonna throw down another nether toxin. 
Tiger will fall, but so too will the Viper. That's a trade you'll take any day of the week. Miwa oh, yeah. on the bottom lane, diving onto Mickey. They have the silence. They've rotated in Moo. Don't have the follow-up damage to get the kill. Didn't have mana for the shapeshift. Oh, yeah. I guess he just poured it down and just had used wolves a little bit. But they're going to get the tower wolves, with that TP out. It seems maybe, maybe not with Taiga coming in. Do they have detection? They don't have detection. You can oh, they do have a dust at least on the Lycan, so they could try, but he's just going to sandstorm sit on the wave if they commit too hard. And they're rotating. Yep. They don't want to give these free towers up. Bounty runes as well. J Storm bringing four to try to get these here. Liquid's starting to get a bit spooked. There's the net to start. Moose is coming in. Gets the lift back. It's the TP by Quakefoot. Not going to be in time. And Moo racing down to the bottom tower now. Has the dust. Taiga's already out of there. So they're just going to try to trade. Rotate Mickey top. TP comes in. Bit of a dance from the teams as Brax will then make his own rotation. Try to hold this tower. They want him right away. They're they have Chrono in. again. But this time he's got borrowed time. Hasn't skilled it yet. He's going to eat the bubble. And now he will as... The cold feet comes out. They're going to turn back coil. for fear. Good blinding light. Orb comes through, does not connect, breaks the coil, and he will die. Brax was trying to throw out the heal, but the missed coil didn't get there in time. Probably would have died anyway. Now Brax in danger. They're going to lose their Abaddon as well. Suddenly, Boxy with a double kill on a killing spree. Nice little start here for Liquid. That was a nice heads up play by Liquid, right? They saw all the people bottom, so you're like, okay, they definitely TP'd some people down here. They definitely made some rotations, so we know we can freely dive top. If we see two people TP top, it's likely that they're not going to be able to bring too many reinforcements. They read the map oh, really well Oh, he popped his dust down bottom. Tiger's oh. trying to TP out. Is he going to make it the wolf? Oh, didn't get there in time. It's close. Yeah, his hero wasn't near him. He's just, like, sent the wolves in, popped the dust around the trees. Oh. thought that was going to be a sick kill. As nine will snag this tower last hit. But Boxy. Boxy's coming in. No coil for 15 seconds. Damn, Boxy's super farmed. 3-0-1, 52 last hits. He's top of that. Oh, Void just passed it, but he was top of the net worth there for a second. <laughs> he will be again, <laughs> maybe. It's a it's an excellent puck game too. Versus the, I mean, versus the support heroes, versus a bad and versus Lycan, it's just excellent. Like you said, limited lockdown. They only have a puck. They only have a Rubik lift for this puck. Yeah, he's gonna need to steal Burrow Strike if if they want to actually yeah. get a kill on the puck. Yeah, or like the puck's waning rift. Couple, right. I guess a few small options that he can definitely go for. But he's often the puck's first target in these fights, so yeah. it'll be tricky. Boxy has the coil ready. They're going to burrow in onto Moo. Fears waiting in reserve. Blinding lights in the back. But the coil going to hold him in place. He runs around in circles, ring right around the Rosie. But oh, still the taking damage. The orb does not connect. They have another burrow strike in two seconds. He's going to turn back, try to take the Sand King with him. Oh, he alive. does end up getting out. The AA ult did not last long enough. Moo survives. A great escape from him. They lose two for that, and now they're going to lose a tower as well. Beautiful little bring around. I thought he was going to shatter, but he, it just didn't last long enough. If that puck orb hit, 100% he was going to I think 100% he was going to die there, but he literally just bring around the Rosie and got out of it. That was... <laughs> Hey, well played. Uh, you can, apparently, uh, you can teach a dog new tricks. <laughs> and uh, even the like little things too, like blinding light. The blinding light pushed the sanking away, so the uh, epicenter didn't actually connect fully at all. Yeah, that was very well played there by J Storm, securing themselves tower. This is going to give them a good chunk of map control here, which I think they definitely needed. If I told you a couple years ago you're going to see Keeper of the Light picked all the time, and he's not even going to skill Illuminate. You would have said I'm full of shit. <laughs> I would have said they got rid of what it. Are you they would have reworked the hero. Deleted the hero. <laughs> got rid of the spell. I mean, yeah. they, they kind of did it in essence just because how good blinding light is. But It's insane. Yeah. They're going to jump top. Chrono, Ice Blast, big commitment on nine. They need more bashes. They need more bashes. He gets another. He has the time walk forward. He doesn't want to do it. But that blinding light tries to run away, but the Ignis is waiting for him. So oh, Viper just a bit too durable. Some uh, cooldowns are wasted by both sides there. Chronosphere as well as the Willow not looking. I mean, the Chrono was a little ambitious, I would say, because there was a Viper who was still pretty high out. The Willow Wisp, there's no way you're going to get killed out of that one either. So those were a little bit strange to see them dishing them out there like that. Yeah, long cooldowns too. Yeah. And... Yeah, in the last fight, also, like you mentioned, Moose, he does have Sip Burrow Strike now, so that's going to be pretty nice, at least for the Rubik, one of the best deals in the game. The Liquid about to get some big pickups here. The Yule Scepter on Koikfa coming s pretty soon. Uh, we're going to see the Puck. Well, Puck Blink actually still a ways to go. Uh, and the Void Diffusal. Yeah, he's pretty much, he's like 200 gold he's away from much it. pretty there. Yep. Uh, as for our Dire side, let's see. Vlad's completed on Brax. 
Dominator's been up on Moo and now working uh, towards his completed boots, it looks like. I think he's got book one finished. Yeah, he's got book one finished on the Lycan now, too. Okay. Oop. Lost the Rubik. Liquid trying to get out of there. Bad in oh. on the hunt. Mickey just, I'm, I can't tell if that was on purpose or not, but he started TPing the base and then canceled it. Hmm. Maybe wanted to stay in the top area. He, he, he moaned it right afterwards, so I'm thinking it might have been a cancel, but he gets to pick up his Diffusal Blade from the side shop there anyway, and his Bounty Rune spawning, so. Let's Tiger wants to contest this, but Mu is in the neighborhood, and once again, they come prepped with detection, but he just burrows away. So it does at least secure that Bounty Rune, giving them a two for two, but Fear up top. He's in trouble with this Diffusal Blade. Quickly brought down. And I just saw a I saw someone teeping on the wolves. I was like, whoa, Nine has boots of travel on Viper. That's not something I expected to see. That is an interesting pickup. That's a very farm-oriented kind of pickup that he wants to be playing, like, the, the like split push, I guess, with Lycan and stuff like that. It's, hmm. I guess it makes sense, right? Like, you're not dominating that hard right now, so the game is going to go a bit later. Yeah, I guess it like allows him to continue to farm instead of just, like, being a Viper that can just fall off and have nothing. Oh, Taiga with the TP out. Just one thing J Storm is lacking is that way to cancel TPs. Yeah. Only moves, and he can't be everywhere. Yeah, that was that was one of the reasons we were you know talking about the Atos. He has a couple different mer merits for it, but no, he's just going for the veil. He's going for the build just around himself. Pure deeps. Yep. I feel like they may regret not having that Atos. Is anyone else gonna? I don't think anyone else really can. Cancel TP? No, I don't think so. Yeah, Lycan's going for book three. Yeah, Abaddon has to go for the auras because there versus all the magic damage. He has to do the pipe. So Liquid are just going to play the keep away game Ooh. for now as, well, like Sand King getting caught out. Burrow Strike trying to retreat, but the Will-O-Wisp is there. Good orb away by Boxy. Moo, though, on the chase. Ooh, misses Drops the, the coil. coil, whiffs the coil. The army keeps on going, chewing up that fairy dragon. They'll force him back. They'll try to trade on mid. But already, Nine is moving into position to hold this tower. They drop the Chronosphere. They just catch the Viper on the rim. They get the bashes they need. They get the kill. But here comes Moo. Stolen Standstorm. Will be able to hold the tower, at least. So they get a, not a clean Tier 2, but they will get the Tier 2 without giving one up. That's, a, that's a nice deal. It's not a, it's not a Burrow Strike, but you just halted their entire push in that mid lane just because of this, because they don't have detection. And now you can sandwich from behind. Not going to be able to find anything, but... You've got a lot of info now. Look at this. This whole bottom sign has been taken over by J-Storm. Oh, fear. Not the neighborhood he wants to be in. No. He's feeling very squishy with that Diffusal Blade. Just one void right click, like a fifth of your health almost. It looks like it's going to be the Manta Diffusal build on the void. So he's going for the old school build. Mickey gets caught out in the mid lane, but they just don't have the tools to keep him fully controlled, so instead it's Moose who gets sniped. You could see that happen quite a lot in this game, I feel like, with the Void Chronosphere, with the Puck, as well as the AA from like the sidelines, even Sanking too. We could see a lot of different, like, global, I guess you could say, pickoffs happening from the side of Liquid. As Jay Storm Moo, he will catch the stun on Koikva. Doesn't have a TP, has the Yule Scepter, the team is streaming into position. Brax gets there, Nine is coming, has the Viper Strike available. Just trying to lob in an auto attack, not enough. The TP rotation back the other way. Here comes the puck with the coil. Abaddon just gonna borrow time, retreat back. So Jay Storm, their lack of catch is feeling pretty problematic right now. Meanwhile, Liquid Moo. finding Moo. Well, who's found whom, I suppose? In comes the Ice Blast, in comes the Epicenter with the Burrow Strike. Three. Big AoE combo. Moo's in danger now as well, but he does get the lift off. He steals the burrow. He turns it back the other way onto Taiga. He still ends up falling in turn. So too will the Sand Cape. But man, look at the damage Mickey dishes out. Fear is dead. That's a double for the Void. That was Storm, you just can cannot afford to be losing fights right now. And they were clumped in that area. And look at the sanking. I think Taiga just picked up the Blink Dagger right before that fight. Gets a beautiful ulti. The only reason Koikfa actually dies is because Eye of the Storm hit the book and killed the book, so he died walking back toward his base. The Lycan did a good job of at least sending that onto the Razor, so they got a little bit of a trade kill. The Liquid able to set up for a very nice fight while they did not have Chronosphere up, and now Chronosphere is at the ready. So yeah, Mickey gets the Yasho, but looks like he is going to get a BKB. So not going straight Manta. 
still safe. I think you, I mean, playing versus a coddle, you like you need BKB. It feels like Will O Wisp and Blinding Light just make you feel pretty miserable as a carry a lot of the times. Yeah, makes sense. Here comes Boxy t looking for this tower mid, but Nine has an Invis rune. Puck is gonna get the tower, and he blinks and out. just gets right out. They just struggle to punish these aggressive liquid plays. Book three, now up on Moo. Let's see if they can try to bait some, if they can bait a fight to make Liquid use some ults and then they run straight to Roche. I feel like that's like the best play that Jstorm could do right now. Obviously not die to the ulties, but if they can get like one, like a support caught by something, that could be nice if they could try to sneak that Roche. With this book, it's definitely a possibility. With the bat in the book. Hastrun really stolen by Taiga, runs away. It's scary though, right? Fighting around the pit against all these giant AOE heroes. Yeah, I think they they have to do like a distraction play, like distract somewhere else, send those like two heroes that could try to do that. That's one of the better plays. Because oh. if you show in lanes, Blink they have Burrow. a lot of ways to catch you. Ice blast coming through. Nice attempt to dodge there by Mu, but he is still going to get caught out a little bit. They're looking to turn this fight around though. They brought the whole gang and they rip up Koikfa, so maybe it is Roche time. Chrono is available. Coil on cooldown. Buyback is up on both of these heroes. No, J-Storm smoking and going deeper, looking for the next kill. They have Mickey yeah. just time walked directly away from them. They're TPing in with the Viper. Nine doesn't have a whole lot of mana, though. No Viper strike. Moose wants him. He still has the stolen coil. He really wants Mickey here. Uh, is, this, is this a possible kill? It's going to be tough. They're expending a lot of time chasing around for they this. They could just be... I guess trying for the Roche, but... I mean, Boxy's taking top tower during all this as a puck. Some things God, the lack of catch is brutal right now. He's still kind of dancing around, is he? Yeah, he's still fine. Here comes Moo. He's caught him from behind, gets the coil off. Will have the lift available and tries to hold it as long as possible into the Necro Army. Finally, they get that pesky Fairy Dragon. Meanwhile, bottom, Ice Blast just off the mark on nine. They could still chase this, though. Koikf was moving into position. Burrow Strength just, oh, just had him with the tip at the center as well. It's the TP out. Nine looks like he, no, he won't make they it. He'll scepter. Yeah. And that's a dead Viper. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you very much. <laughs> it literally just shows up and takes the kill. <laughs> Classic <laughs> AA. Do you think that J Storm is getting enough right now? Because they're down on net worth. They did go for like more of the farming Viper. Uh, I mean, it, it's okay. I, I, They want to have a gold lead. They want to be more ahead of this than this right now. Like, right now they're behind, so, yeah, definitely want to be able to get more out of that. Their book usage was actually super lucky because he'd used it to farm, and then Liquid actually walked into it and took a fight into it. So that was kind of lucky there for j -Stone, But, yeah, they, they want to be a bit more. They, they really want, like, the Roche is everything for this. So this is interesting, or maybe to me anyway. Uh, Moo now. is going for the eggs. So they're all, they're all about split push, it looks like. Liquid have a lot of creep clear, though. Yeah. Is this going to work? I have not gotten to see it in action in a pro game, personally, yeah. myself. I think I saw, like, some people doing it in pubs and stuff like that, but... It seems like it could be very strong. I'm just not... Uh, it forces a, it forces the lane in super hard. It yeah. really does. I mean, it's the three wolves, but... And I think it as soon as you pick it up, it spawns the wolves, and then it spawns at the 30-second mark as well. Gotcha. Okay. But, yeah, I haven't gotten to see it in action. I'm wondering how much potential it could actually have. If they feel like their team fight's actually going to be strong enough in order to be okay with, like, your wolves just having a split push kind of action. Uh, or maybe just thinking we don't want a team fight at all. Yeah, maybe. Like you said. So, J Storm smoked again. They have the Necro Army in mid. They're going to rotate back towards the top side of the map. Still unable to find that clean Roche. And it's Insania keeping tabs on the pit with the Ice Vortex. Yeah, they, they know that that's, that is the biggest, the most important thing for them. They have the way better team fight around the Roche Pit area, so as long as they can keep tabs. The rewarding right now is really nice, too, on the side of, of Liquid. I keep, om I still almost say Alliance, jeez. <laughs> it's so hard. Yeah, it's, imagine like if you just stopped watching Dota I after know. TI and you come back, it's like, it's Liquid, who the hell is Poxy? <laughs> Oop, what Brax. happened to Kuroki and friends? We're going to fight Brax here. He does have a pipe. He's very tanky. Has to borrow time, but he's losing a lot of mana to this Diffusal Blade. He's going to be forced back. The fight gets a little spread thin. That's probably how you want it. 
If you're J-Storm, Epicenter revved up and is only the Sandstorm stolen by the Rubik. Not the ideal grab. Insania on the run, nearly dies to the Lycan army. Ooh, they killed most of the book, though. The, the, a lot of gold. Yeah, they killed the big one. And the wolf. And they're just split pushing. Nine's just down bottom, wants to farm up this BKB. It's Liquid taking the fights and, you know, on offense. Yeah, they, they're holding most of their cooldowns. I mean, they popped Eye of the Storm. That one's not really much because it's 60 seconds, but the Epi and that's it. They have they have so many different ones that they're like, we can actually throw these ults for individual kills because we have a lot. Yeah, just use of one of them. Use the Coil, yeah. you know, use the Chrono, use the Burrow Strike into Ice Blast, but you don't have to use them all. Yeah, now look, they're setting up for top. Mick A, he gets the Chrono before the Blinding Light. Has the BKB now. What if they stole in here? It is a Chrono Sphere, but not if you're dead. You don't get to use it. Bash. Burrow and <laughs> so oh my God. Rubik was hopeful. Uh, that got ugly pretty quickly, and it's feeling like this could continue to happen. Like, this is the way that their lineup wants to play. They want to just be looking to take fights, and J Storm, they're playing just, they want to play full split push. It's hard to split push now. Yeah. You're, you've got a Puck with a Blink, a Sand King with a Taiga? Blink. He just. Is he just dead? Oh my God. Is he actually going to get out because the caustic's slow? Oh my God. He's, he's fine, it looks. Oh my goodness. Trying to cut him off, but not going to happen. And Mickey goes and kills the book. So extra gold for the Void again. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. Boxy in a f in free place to just be like, oh, Brax, Bra they're, they're obviously trying to push lanes out as much as possible. They have no catch for me, so I'm going to go cut the wave. And he's pushing. building a Lincoln. So at that point, even the Rubik's not catching him. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. So you can't catch the Void. He's got a BKB. I mean, almost certainly you're not killing him. You can't really catch the Puck. He's about to get a Lincoln's. You've got a BKB and a Yule Scepter on the Razor. Like, someone has to really mess up to die. Yeah, it's definitely looking like Liquid Stun. The, the supports can die, sure. But, like, the rest of them, they're, they're starting to get really built up to the items that you want to see on Liquid's Heroes versus J-Storms, like you said. Having multiple Yules, having BKBs, Razors hitting critical mass already, level 20. He actually doesn't even take the armor talent. He takes the Eye of the Storm interval, which I feel wow. like is like, I'm I'm feeling really good about myself right and, now. And he's versatile Lycan, too. That's a, yeah. that's a sign of the times. Okay, here comes the Wolf Army. But might just end up being extra cold for Liquid. Yep, 45 money. It's not that much. It adds up, David. It adds Every up. Every little bit. Time walk cast range, pretty standard. Yep. J-Storm are pushing. Trying to keep these lanes shoved in, but Taiga just sits there with the Sandstorm. Thou shalt not pass. They're going to draw the line. Like they, it's so, like how do they, they have to kill him inside the lift. Because he's got the Yules, so he can just Yules afterwards and then maybe even get out. So he has to, they have to do this really well to be able to kill Taiga. And it's deep. It's just a kill. Like, they can't actually turn that into a tier 3 yet. Although they do have most of them in the area at the moment. McKay's got a DD bottled up, and Liquid are thinking Roche. Uh-oh. Sends in the Manta Illusions. Oh, man. Tank. If they get this Roche. Might be all she wrote. Can yeah. J-Storm try to force them back? Sentry drop down. They scan. They know. They, they, if they can force the issue here, this could be okay for J-Storm. Yeah, I don't think they want to go into the pit. They'd rather try and isolate the sand. Can bring him down right quick? Gets off the Yule Scepter and burrows out, but he is dead. Brax will finish the job. They've already brought back Boxy. They've grabbed the Aegis. you got to get out now. Here comes the Chrono. Here comes the BKB Razor. Sapping all of Nine's damage. Boxy's just fine. Full HP. Now Mickey lunging in. Gets off the Chrono. Gets the kill on the Viper. Cleans up the Wolf Push. They did lose a Tier 3. That's something, but they're going to lose Brax in turn as well on the J-Storm side. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Dies to a bash, snoring all the while. I'd say it's a pretty favorable trade there for uh, Team Liquid. <laughs> yeah. Age is getting a pretty big kill on the Viper. Viper is now very, very weak, and it's, so is the Abaddon. It's kind of just the Lycan now that has to make something miraculous happen on the side of J-Storm. As he is split pushing a lot. I mean, he's doing he's taking work. out some shrines here. Trying not to feed the Dominator, but he gets a bash. So Liquid are going to lose some map control for sure. They lost that tier three. They're going to lose the bottom shrine, I imagine, at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are very hard to kill, but it's also going to be hard to group up and take fights. Maybe J-Storm can play around that. Yeah. 
Gonna have to try somehow. Burrow, Burrow initiation in the mid lane. Blink and you will miss it. Dead fear. Another kill. It's just like nowhere safe for these supports. No, and it's so e they didn't even have to use an ultimate or anything for that now that they're now that they've gotten so strong and Koikva. Meanwhile, opposite story, you know, PK me, team yeah, out, nothing you can do. It's, it's tough for J Storm right now. They're gonna try to like catch here. Boxy. on the boxy. They have the lift. Got to break the Lincoln. Break he the Lincoln with the fade ball. Drop him back into a centaur stomp. They've got the control, but the sand cane interrupts it. The coil comes out the other way. It's Moose who falls. Your puck will oh, be and just Mickey. Foyne and Foyne and uh, Mickey is chasing in, looking for nine. Doesn't have the chrono, but he's got an Aegis. He's got a BKB. Nine tries to fight him out with the shrine there. But another time walk, gets the bash, gets the Manta off, Burrow follow up, and that's gonna be a dead Viper for dinner. Oh, and Sanya almost got the last hit again with the Ice Blast there. <laughs> He's trying for them. But yeah, they're they're kind of dancing on them at this point now. Like the lane, one lane is being pushed in. Bottom seems to always be getting pushed in, but the other two, Liquid do have the tools to address that. And now Taiga, wondering if maybe someone queues up a boot to travel in a second. Might be even be Seems him. like that's the one missing ingredient. It's just a little more mobility around the map. Yeah. I feel like Tiger. Tiger's looking. He was looking to try to stop Brax's TP, it looked like there. Uh, he found him. Yule Scepter comes out. Foxy joins the party. They've got the Void here with the Dilation Slow, as well as that Diffusal Blade. Can't even stay with Tiger. Who will blink back to safety, and they get the Brax kill. They're trying to split push. Giannis, but it's just too many kills, too much gold being fed away. Yeah, and they're even, it's not It's not just like, the, like you said, the gold. It's like they're killing the book almost every time, too. Extra bit of money there for them every single time. I, this is this is the story of it, though. When you lose that Roche and you have a lineup like this with a Lycan that you've built so much around it, it makes the game just super hard to play. And I mean, Liquid, they, they address this Lycan with three or four of their picks, as the panel talked about, too. I'm struggling to see how J-Storm come back. Yeah, it's looking like they have to... I mean, Liquid has to make some dire mistakes. And then this Lycan needs to somehow get some, like, Rax opportunity. There has to be some mistakes coming out from Liquid, it seems. Like, waste your BKB, run in 1v5, you know, or some sort of crazy base race scenario. Yeah, I mean, the Lycan has to do everything, because you look at Viper, you look at 9. Sure, he's got boots to travel, BKB, Veil, but this is a 19 health Viper at 30, min 30 minutes plus. This is not the place that you want to be. You want to be like way more farmed or like closing the game out with these type of items. Now here's an item you do not see very often. It's a Mask of Madness on Void. I mean, in the old days it was very popular, but with the time walk cooldown being so low, he just he's, he doesn't think he's ever going to die. I mean, I'm just seeing the way that they're queuing up some items, and I feel like Liquid's, uh, Liquid's starting to feel themselves a bit in this yeah. one. Yeah, <laughs> pride cometh before the fall. Right. You know, we'll see. For now, they're just fine, though. They're going to engage onto Brax. No backup in sight. Coil deployed. Yule Scepter coming in. Sets up the Ice Blast. Beautifully done. Borrowed time. Tries to run. The Burrow off the mark. Just a wee bit short. But Boxy keeps on blinking forward. They get up the silence. The Ignis covers the path of retreat. They're also pushing top with Moo right now. Mickey going to time walk in. They've lost their courier in the midst of this. Who got it? Was it Mickey killed it? Uh, uh, Taiga. Oh, Taiga. Wow, I, I'm blind. It says it right there. <laughs> and they got a tier two, I guess. Yeah. Tier two claim. They had to use their Will O Wisp to get away. Small gains. They have to try to get something out of the map as now it's a full butterfly for Mickey. On top of that. Morbid mask that he of course disassembled the mask of madness into. That is a that is a very farmed thirty three minute void, I do have to say. 8 0 10, 320 last hits. I don't think you really see a void much more far than this in Jesus. many Dota games. He's almost level 25. Yeah. What do you go for here, talent wise? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I think I still see most people take the Chronosphere AoE, but Backtrack, I mean, Backtrack's so nice. Backtrack's sick. He's already winning man fights, I Why guess. Why not? So, right. you know. Yeah, I mean, he. It, 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 at this point, they're in such a comfortable position. Just don't even take a talent. I guess the, I mean, the Chronosphere one would be the best, just because it works best with your lineup. With the AA, with yeah, the with everything else, all the AOE. Yeah. But yeah, you can see a lot. Uh, Liquid at the. I said it again. Liquid at this point, they just back up. They know how comfortable they are at the game. They're just farming up. 
they're like, all right, if you want to bring the fight to us, you can, but I don't think you're going to want to. So now, now that we've got our lanes pushed out decently, we can go look to pick and up Moose, fight. Moose has a blank. Doesn't guess right, though. Burrow strike the wrong direction. Oop, mid, though. They will find nine. He will be the target. They're just going to throw the chrono. They do not care. Easy Viper takedown. And they were just not able to catch that puck, unfortunately. And they knew everyone was bottom because they were all they were chasing uh, Taiga out. So he was very well aware that nobody was sitting behind Viper. And I think that's the Rubik Blink debut. Uh, yep. So now Liquid can play a little more cautiously. Still very tough to get these kills, even with the element of surprise. Yeah, they, they're starting to like switch their items up a lot. I saw Brax had the Aghanims queued up like the whole game on the Abaddon, and now he just switched to the Radiance. I think he's feeling like we need somebody else to try to do some damage, do something in the game, because me healing everybody's not going to do jack at this point. Uh, the only one who's going to be doing damage here is probably Mickey, who's just found him in the jungle. Gets to work with the bashes. They do get a nice two hero pearl strike from Moose. Can he turn this fight around? Following up with the Will O Wisp. Mickey just time walks right past him, gets the defusal on Moose. Time oh. walks away, swagging a little bit. Mickey blew his BKB for this. That's about as good as you can hope for from J Storm. Yeah, that's definitely something there. They get out of it. Able to disengage it. When you, your victories are not dying, though, it's, <laughs> it's uh, hollow yeah. at best. And it's on your side of the map, too, so it's like, ooh, we uh, don't even get to really do much. Any All right, let's farm some lanes. Let's push <laughs> these lanes out. Yeah, they're itemizing now towards late game. Looks like a scythe on the Viper. That's going to be their catch. That's a catch that they, yeah, at 36 minutes. I mean, they'll have it now. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. It's got a Blink Dagger, too. To Blink Dagger, I like. I think Blink's always a valuable purchase versus uh, Void. He's, you know, he jumps on you, you can blink, usually before the Chronosphere. Really probably wishes he'd gone Atos now. Moose is lurking near top, but nothing to really do without, like, four other heroes in the neighborhood. I think he just wants to, like, nuke the waves, try to keep the bi try to keep these away from their base, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's like, excuse you! How dare you fade bolt my creep wave? No, this is where actually the carries usually deny every single creep that you fade bolted and make you feel really the, bad. Yeah, how dare you? Hey, but he's not going to. He's, and a, he's a nice guy. They he, need their creeps against these three wolves. You know? Yep. Doing a good job of. J Storm's doing a good job of just keeping these lanes pushed in. Bottom always seems to be forced in and double catapults. We'll start to cause some problems. Boxy will have to respond. He's Storm got the boots. has been smoking. So it just was like, where do you smoke? Where do you go? What do you do? No good options. So they'll just play it safe. Okay, to take the Chronosphere AoE, not too surprising. Yeah, and they took the attack, um, as you always do, the attack speed on the Razor. Like, they're already level 25. That is... I actually haven't brought up the graph in a while. Let's take a... Oh, my. Yeah, so 23,000 gold and then a 30,000 experience lead. Experience is usually one of the bigger ones I like to look at because it tells a nice story. It rubber bands hard if you throw. It does uh, indeed. But it's hard to throw this one. Liquid gonna go for the next Roche or at least set up. But first, Mickey wants to clear the high ground, maybe find a wayward hero on their own. I'm surprised he went for the full satanic in this one. I mean I can see why like he's like unkillable, but like I feel like he kinda was already at this point. Like he's another like, damage item instead or something? Yeah, I feel like this is like a super safe kind of route, but it works out anyway. I feel like he could have gotten a lot of different items in, in, at this point in the game, so. Dig on five. I've, I've been... Probably right, not. <laughs> I mean, he could, but... <laughs> but why? Yeah, he's got the cheese as well as the Aegis. Yeah. Pretty solidly eight-slotted void right now. I mean, crazy. It's only 38 minutes. 38 minutes, 26,000 that one. I mean, that's, that's crazy high. J-Storm shoving in this bottom lane, trying to avoid the inevitable push from Liquid. Start to converge towards top, join up with Mickey, stay together, be safe. No creeps though. Yep, bottom. They'll, they'll have a hard time getting to the base. That is the one thing that J-Storm have going for them. Can always try to rat it out. Ooh, look at this line drawn. Koikfa, he knows that there's lurkers. Lurkers in the jungle, lurkers down in the bottom lane. He wants to go for the Big wraparound. Yeah, a bit of an infestation, yeah. do I sense. That means top lane's going to get pushed in really hard by J-Storm, too, though, as the Wolves already continue, uh, begin to start that. 
But will they catch people here? Uh, maybe they'll play the keep away game. So that's going to be the plan. They've latched onto Brax. Yule set their setup. Ice Blast follow up. Gets off the borrowed time. Does he get the si suicide off? That is the question. That would be so impossible. <laughs> oh, God. Koifa hitting for a nice 450 damage at this point. Also having a satanic. So they're, I mean, they're durable. They're very durable on their course. That's what you call throw insurance. Yeah. I like that. So the Wolves go to work, pushing in top. And, look, yeah, J-Storm just trying to play this keep away. That's a big army. Somebody's going to need to D this. It'll be boxy. He's got the bots. Yeah, he can join his team. So he's going to be the one that just constantly defends. A little phase shift, playing it safe, blinking out. The team is shoving in mid. Liquid looking for that first lane of Rax. Nine trying to split push, but the puck is there to stop it. And so they're going to get a tier three mid. They can maybe go for full Rax should they desire. And uh, look, doesn't seem they'll give anything up just yet. So a good move by Liquid overall. They do throw out the Will O Wisp. Now's the chance to engage. They're going to get Ooh. the Void once. Man, that damage. And that Nether Toxin is no joke. To really the stacking up. But he's got BKB for round two if he needs it. He'll get the melee. They'll look for the range. Liquid. Eyes on the prize here. Full lane of racks. Immediately rotating top. They want to put an end to this game. 41 minutes. It's dragged on a little. But it's pretty much been Liquid favorite the whole way. In comes Moose. Can he make a play? Nice Two hero stun. Burrow strike. Beautifully done. They've caught the Rubik. That's the big playmaker out of the picture. Everything thrown on Koi but he heals right back up with the Satanic. Now the boy jumping for Brax. Double Unmoved. buyback. Time to retreat. Play it safe. They're trying to finish off Insania. They've gotten him with the Lycan army, but that might be all they get. Still Chrono is available. It's the tower dropping quickly. It's so hard to play Lycan versus Puck. He just literally was coiled and just dies. He just runs around in circles inside that coil. And since he doesn't have BKB, he's just dead. He went for an Orchid build, going for like Orchid into this next item nullifier. But that just means he can't BKB and just walk out of coil. So he was just stuck in it and just died. He got his, like you said, he got the kill on Insania with his minions, but gave his life for it. Clear win there for Liquid. 35,000 gold advantage. All, all lanes except for bottom pushing in right now. Could be really safe and, you know, wait it out for the next Roche, but I think they've got all buybacks at this point. Yeah, five buybacks, so they'll take Shrines. Could probably look for that second lane right away. Yeah, I think you can send Boxy bottom, push out the wave. He actually has an invis rune. Maybe Boxy is going to try to hunt first. Nope, just kidding. He nukes it immediately afterwards. And Koikfo looks like he's maybe going to try to find someone down bottom. He's building toward a wow, Daedalus. I mean, he's feel. I mean, they're feeling confident. They're feeling really good about the way the game is going. Obviously, they can go for these luxury, luxury esque items. Quick pull will keep deal with that wave. Liquid staying grouped up middle. Dude, I've never seen a Daedalus Razor actually. I'm actually kind of hyped if he gets the link off. It's like the maximum thing. possible crit he can get. Like 280 with the 121 plus 87. Oh, Corona! It's a lot. It's a lot. It blacks out the map, and it kills off. First the Rubik, probably more. Mickey going for extra kills, diving in behind enemy lines though, trying to man fight it up against the entire J Storm squad. His BKP lasting through this. He'll get wise and back away. He's not that strong. But that was without the the full squad in tow. Razor's moving into position, as you mentioned. Completed Daedalus, 4400 gold in the bank, and they found another. Looking for the abandoned, Ice Blast comes through. They have broken up this Sand King, and Mickey keeps the chase going. He gets coil silenced, three. but the beautiful coil from Boxy. Follow up from the Illusions. Quick forgetting in position, gets up the Static Link. Look at the damage, ticking up, up to almost 300 stolen, and still going strong with the BKB. He's hitting for 500 a pop before the Daedalus crits. I saw an 1166 crit. That's one of the biggest crits I've ever seen on Razor. And it's going to be one of the deadest racks <laughs> or uh, thrones you've ever seen in a couple of seconds here. As Koikva looks for Brax, he'll leave that kill to Mickey. Buys back instantly. J Storm, they're out of gas in the tank. They are going to drop game one. A convincing win by Liquid. Yeah, this one looked. Ah, this one just looked really tough on paper. When I